Well, Mark, relegation confirmed. Just give us your reaction to that overall. Obviously, disappointed. Death by a thousand cuts, really, hasn't it? We've known, we've known it's coming. Probably since the since a way out, really, with with all that's been going on, and uh, it's been tough. It's been tough for the boys. Um, thought we played really well in the first half today. It's a snapshot of the season where to the edge of their box we're fine, and then nothing. And, uh, and that's why we are. You look at Wrexham, didn't really have a lot of the ball. A little bit of pressure in the second half and the three goals within a few minutes. And it's just the quality and you know that they've got at the top of the pitch. And it did feel like the story of the season in that, that 90 minutes. But particularly first half, I imagine, over the past few games, you've been wondering where that performance was. Well, no, like, we've had passages of really good play, but you have to hurt the opposition. And, and that means by scoring a goal and putting them on the back foot. But... We just struggle to do that often enough. And um, like I say, from the edge of our box to the edge of theirs, not an issue. Um, it's just the last bit, which is money, recruitment. Um, players gave everything again. Uh, I'd just say, like, the support is brilliant. 150 of them on a Tuesday night. Um, for their sake, the turmoil needs to end, whatever it is. Whatever it is, the turmoil needs to end and they need a football club to be proud of again and start afresh, put, put the right people in the right places, whoever that is, and, uh, and start to build the club again. What did you say to your players at the end of that game? Because there are some that have been here a number of years, some that really have this club in their heart. They'll be really, really hurting, I imagine. Yeah, but it's, you know, if I was to talk about the game, it would be saying a lot of the same things. You know that I've been saying for the last few weeks. It's effort, commitment, great. It's just the last little bit of the pitch where is where you win and lose games is in and around the penalty opposition's penalty box. And um, wasn't too much said. There was a lot of emotion. Some of the boys that are desperate to do well um, are obviously hurted. And like I always say, we've got a core cool group of players that are desperate to play for the club. And your first relegation as a manager how do you assess what you've done with the club since you've, you've come in uh, could have easily walked out six weeks ago felt a loyalty to the players and the fans that treat me so well since I came I came in to try and build a brilliant club back up and if you just said to me after the Eastley game we were going to get relegated I would have laughed in your face it was never going to happen uh, we looked really good and um, we needed to add a couple of players and um, it's just gone from bad to worse since that, since that night. Do you think you could have done any more? I always self-reflect and I could have probably played a different team now and again but every player has had a chance. Uh, but our biggest strength as a club was our togetherness with the staff and the players. Um, that was our biggest togetherness um, and we lost that. And what's your view on what, what is going to happen now? Do you have any, have you had any conversations with anyone higher up at, at the club as to what this now means, especially as it's done mathematically now? Not really, no. It's, you know, it's been like, uh, obviously the club's done, it's, the deal's done, it's going to be done tomorrow, that doesn't happen, and it's going to be done on Monday, it doesn't happen and... I have to wonder if there's a deal to be done, do the deal. I mean, for the sake of the club, but everyone will point a finger at different people, me, the players, whoever, but the deal needs to be done for the good of the club, whoever's there. What do you hope now for the supporters, the players and yourself going forward? In an ideal world, we, we get a real stable ownership uh, that understand the way to run a football club and we rebuild the football club I'd love to do it I'd love to do it uh, but for that to happen we have to have good people in good positions we have to have brilliant support from above and we have to have really solid recruitment and if you get any of them wrong you can't succeed
And if it is to be you taking this club forward, do you see some potential in the players that you've got out there, in contract, not in contract? We've got six or seven really good players in contract, maybe a few more. Um, and we've got people I'd love to keep, you know, as well, that are proper Yeovil players. And um, I think we'd be a real force in the, in the National League South if we kept what we've got and we add some firepower to that. I think we'd, uh, we'd be a real force next year. And just lastly, what would you want to say to the supporters who are heartbroken tonight? Devastated for them, it's their club. But sometimes you have to bottom out. And sometimes it can be a good thing where the club gets a chance to reset and you get a chance to be a big fish. You know what it's like to win games of football, three, four, five on the trot. Um, and to get that real good feel, good factor about, and it, the club's not really had that for a few years now, whoever's been in charge. And um, and that's that's where we need to be, and we need to be there really quickly. Do you feel you've got those next two games now where you're already relegated? It's a chance to potentially get a little bit of early planning gone, so you're hoping that something might be revealed this week? My plan is done. I know I want to keep, and I, I know players that I want to bring in. Yep. It's like we can't do anything. We can't wait, we can't plan, just wasting energy at the minute because we don't know who's going to be in what positions. And um, we can all beat around the bush, but that's been the reason why we are where we are.